In this lesson, we will be factoring polynomials. What you need to know before we can factor polynomials is some knowledge of prime factorization, finding greatest common factors of polynomials, which there's a video about that if you want to check that out, and the distributive property. We're going to review these things before we get into our actual lesson, but it'll be a pretty brief review. Finding the greatest common factor. When you're given two terms like this, 81y to the power of 2 and 144y to the power of 3, to find the greatest common factor, we will list the prime factors of these terms. So you can see this 81y squared is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times y squared. That's called a prime factorization. All right, and then 144y to the power of 3, the prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times y to the power of 3. That is the prime factorization. And the next step for finding our greatest common factor is to identify which parts or which prime factors are common between them. In this case, 3 times 3 times y squared is a common element in both terms. So our greatest common factor will be 9y squared. What I am not going to do is I'm not going to show these steps every single time. From now on, I'm going to assume that we know how to find the greatest common factor of two terms. We're going to be focusing on polynomials that have two terms. And I'm going to assume you know how to find the greatest common factor. If you don't, make sure to go back and watch the video on greatest common factors of, of polynomials. The second thing we need to remember is the distributive property. The distributive property states that any term outside of the parentheses can be multiplied or must be multiplied times the term both terms or all terms inside the parentheses. Here's an example. 2 times x plus 2. I would have to remember I'm multiplying 2 times x and 2 times 2 to give me 2x plus 4. So in other words, if I'm going to go backwards, I would factor 2 out of both of those terms. Now this is a pretty simple, um, right here, this 2x plus 4, that's a very simple binomial. And it illustrates the point pretty clearly that, that the greatest common factor, 2, is being factored out of both terms. So when we use the distributive property, we multiply 2 times each term inside the parentheses. When we simplify or factor, we're dividing 2, the greatest common factor, out of both terms. So let's go ahead and factor using a little bit more of a complicated polynomial here. We are going to focus on binomials in this lesson. So, so binomials have just two terms. But what we'll do is we will find the greatest common factor and then factor that out of this polynomial. The greatest common factor I'm just going to give you so that we're not showing all of those steps. But our greatest common factor for 12x squared and 15x to the power of 3 is 3x squared. I can factor that from both terms in a couple of different ways. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to list all of the prime factors and cancel out 3 and x squared. Now, this is just one way to do it. You could also divide both terms, 12x squared divided by 3x squared. 15x to the power of 3 divided by 3x squared. Both would work perfectly fine. I'm just going to use this method because it's a little bit more visual. I can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm taking 3 and 2x's out of that term. I'm taking 3 and 2x's out of that term. And what am I left with? Well, 12x squared, I'm left with 2 times 2, which is 4. You can see that, 4. And with 15x to the power of 3, I'm left with 5 and 1x, 5x. So you can see how I've factored this polynomial up here into a simpler form. What I also can do 
if I want to check my work real quick, is I can check using the distributive property. I can do the opposite by multiplying 3x squared times each term inside the parentheses. 3x squared times 4 gives me 12x squared. 3x squared times 5x gives me 15x to the power of 3. So you can always check your work with this by doing kind of the reverse, um, which is the distributive property. Now we're going to factor this polynomial, 24a to the power of 4 plus 6a. Our greatest common factor is 6a, so that's going to kind of make things interesting. I'm going to factor it in the same way I did before, listing out the prime factorization of both terms, and then taking the greatest common factor, 6a, out of both of them. 6a is 3 times 2 times a. Hold on a sec. I'm taking out everything from this one, a 3, a 2, and an a. This one I'm taking out a 3, a 2, and just one of the a's, leaving me with a to the power of 3. But with this one, I'm taking out the everything. And whenever you do that, we have to remember, we're not actually getting rid of them when we cancel them out. We're dividing. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. A divided by A is 1. All right? So this is actually 1 times 1 times 1. Normally, if there's anything left over, it doesn't matter because whatever we have, we multiply times 1. It doesn't change it. But when everything's canceled out, we have to remember that there is that 1. So this is the way that we would write this out. 6a times 4a to the power of 3 plus 1. And then if we turned around and used the distributive property, we would multiply the 6a times each term, and that would get us back to here. We can see that if 6a was multiplied times that 1, we would end up with our second term. If we didn't have that 1 there, we could never get it back to looking like this. In our final example, we're looking at 81y to the power of 2 plus 144y to the power of 3. Our greatest common factor, we actually solved this one earlier, our greatest common factor is 9y squared. So we're going to take 9y squared out of each term, or divide each term by 9y squared. So I list out my prime factorization, and I'm going to cross off 9y squared, which is 3 times 3 times y squared. With this one, I have three y's, so when I take out y squared, I'm left with y to the power of 1. With this one, I have just y squared, so I cancel that out completely. That leaves me my first term factored will be 3 times 3, which is 9. My second term factored is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. And 1y, we can't forget about our y at the end. Again, you can check using distributive property, 9y squared times 9 would give you 81y squared, the first term. 9y squared times 16y would give us 144y to the power of 3. So factoring out greatest common factors from polynomials is kind of nice because we can always check our work when we're going forward. And that is everything about factoring polynomials.